Hey, what's up guys? It's Fabio here from Noise. And this week I wanna show you five logic hacks that are gonna help you dramatically increase your speed and workflow in logic. There are so many shortcuts in logic and lots of little things that you can do to help things move along a little bit quicker. But sometimes looking them up, there's long, 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 long lists online is just not very helpful and takes forever. So I wanna break it down for you guys, make it a lot easier and show you some things that you're gonna love. Hack number one, the same length and same velocity shortcut that seems to be really hidden. Okay, so for same length, same velocity, highlight all the MIDI notes, hold Alt and Shift or Option and Shift, hover over the back end of any of the MIDI notes until you get the lengthening tool, click and hold and then drag to the right or left and they will all snap to the same size. Now keep Alt and Shift held down, go over to the velocity bar, click and drag it to the right or the left and you'll see that they'll all snap to exactly the same color, therefore exactly the same velocity. Hack number two, the marquee tool is your Swiss army knife. Learn how to use it. So if you're gonna use the marquee tool, make sure it's set up over here as the command click tool, then hold command to access it and you can double click to create cuts or you can hold command, highlight a section, then let go of command and just use the pointer tool to click and that will cut out your selection. Alternatively, you can also use the marquee tool to select a section and then press Ctrl and M to mute it. Hack number three. Do you ever spend loads of time coloring all the different tracks and regions and you're like, oh, why am I having to do this again? There is an option to do auto coloring. Let me show you. So for the auto coloring of tracks and channels, go to Logic Pro, Preferences, display and then head over to tracks go to color and select auto progress 96 now when you add new channels you'll notice that they are all automatically colored and when you record the regions will be those colors also hack number four you ever tried automating volume and then later on the track you want to bring it down or up but it just keeps flicking to that automation level that you set super annoying automate gain that's the way around it so instead of automating volume and losing control over our fader throughout the track let's go ahead and open a gain plugin located in utility then what we're going to do is we're going to automate the gain parameter so up here we should be able to select gain and then gain there and then go ahead click and do volume changes if we need to without losing that volume fader control. Hack number five. Last but not least, seeing as we are already talking about automation, the master automation delete shortcut. I'm gonna show you how to delete all the automation on your whole channel. All you have to do is select it, press command, control, shift, and then backspace. And that should delete all the automation for you. Thank you so much for tuning in guys. Please remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you next week with more two minute tips. And that, <laughs> don't laugh.